Welcome back. Today I want us to learn some basic understanding of uh, how to find the density of irregular shaped object. Now, to find the density of a material, we know that density is given by mass divided by volume. That means if we need to find the density of this material, this is a clay, uh, we need to find its mass, we need to find its volume. And so I have some apparatus here that is going to help us to do so. So here with me, I have some water here. Uh, there's water here in a jar. Then I have measuring cylinder. Uh, by now, you should be having an idea what am I going to use with this water. Uh, there's a string. A string is here. Uh, the object that you want to find its density is this, regular shape. We can't use uh, an instrument to measure its dimension. Uh, I have a balance here. Of course, you know the use of a balance. And we may need a calculator because there's going to be some calculation. Uh, here with me, I also have some potassium permanganate, which you're wondering, are we in a chemistry class? No, we are not in a chemistry class. So uh, let's start. So the first thing to do is to measure the mass. We don't want to put this in water, then we measure the water. Remember, if you do so, uh, if you put this object in water, uh, we will have to wait for it to dry or we find a way of how to dry it because measuring the mass after you put it in water uh, is one of the precautions that we should be able to take because we will be able to give us wrong values. Now I'll put it on, the mass I'll put it on. And then, as you can able to see, there is no zero error, so it is already tired. So I'm gonna put it there. Uh, that is the mass. That is forty-two point two grams. So the mass of our object, as you already measured, that is forty-two point two grams. So the next thing is to find the volume, which are going to use the measuring cylinder. And then, how are we going to do that? So, the first thing to do is uh, to pour water so that we can able to record the initial volume of water before. So, we have water here in the jar. We are using displacement method to find the volume of this object because it is a regular shaped object so the first part we don't need to worry about the exact volume so we can just approximate uh, more than a half somewhere here just to approximate now as can able to see you can able to see water clearly so that is why I'm having potassium permanganate to increase the visibility of uh, the water just a small portion is enough So with this, you can able to see, <laughs> let me just shake it. Yes, yeah, so you can able to see now we have colored water, uh, which will able to increase the visibility. Now, the next thing is to record. So we need to find what is the volume of this uh, water before the animation that is taken. you can able to see clearly the initial volume of water that is uh, 170 remember we're supposed to take the measurement below the meniscus that is 170 cubic centimeter
so tie we're going to tie our object using a string i've tried to use uh, the thinnest string possible one of the assumptions we are going to make is that this string <laughs> this string does not occupy space in other words the volume of this string is going to be assumed to be negligible the volume of this string is going to be assumed to be negligible after doing that so we are going to carefully lower it carefully lower the solid carefully lower the solid and you can able to see there is a rise in volume so that is what we need to to take so we need to take the measurement of the volume that has risen so this is a uh, 190 192 194 so the reading is 194 now uh, that is 194 cubic centimeter so now the volume of this solid volume of the solid of this object uh, its volume is 194 minus 170 and this is equal to 24 cubic centimeter therefore the density the density of the solid which makes this object is given by mass mass is 42.2 grams divided by the volume which is 24 cubic centimeter so that is 42.2 divided by 24 that gives us from the calculator we'll see this 1.758333 recurring now we're supposed to give our answer in suitable number of significant figure uh, which we'll able to use this so that will give us as 1.76 and then look at this what is the unit how do we know the unit of density is it in grams per cubic centimeter or is it in kilogram per cubic centimeter look at this the mass is measured in grams the volume is measured in cubic centimeter so you have grams over cubic centimeter this tells us now the volume the density is 1.76 then we don't write as grams per cubic uh, sorry we don't write as grams over cubic centimeter so we always express as grams per cubic centimeter and for a level we express our answer as grams in indices minus three thank you so i hope you've enjoyed and you've learned how to find the density of an irregular shaped object by first of all finding the volume uh, by displacement method and then you must measure the, the mass of the best by